Hey, hi, hello, Julia here. I wanted to come on and make a video today around this idea of taking responsibility for things, um, but more specifically, just acknowledging how a certain situation or problem shows up for us um, because in some way, shape, or form, we have asked it to. Uh, I know that it is sometimes a big or tough pill to swallow when we think of this in terms of like a negative situation that's happened or something that has caused us a lot of pain. Um, but I also find it very valuable, at least from my own perspective, just to see the opportunity for growth in that situation and acknowledging and recognizing how it is teaching me some kind of a lesson and how I can learn something from that situation and even just taking responsibility for how I'm actually creating it. Um, even on a subconscious level, we do actually create everything in our reality. And while it's hard to admit sometimes that we are creating something, especially something that's causing us pain, just to really like honor and acknowledge the fact that we are still creating that and that it is showing up for us so that we can heal it and do something differently or manifest something differently in the future. Um, yeah, it's just, it can be challenging to sort of be humble to that fact sometimes and I find myself even resisting um, just acknowledging like how I do create certain situations for myself um, but that power really lies in taking that responsibility and acknowledging it even if it's not something that we're consciously creating or doing so um, from like an intentional place but just being aware that that underlying programming, that programming that we receive from, you know, like our parents, our family, ancestors, um, that that is sort of running the show, so to speak, and that it's causing us to create and manifest things um, that we don't always love. Um, trying to think of an example here, but even just that example, like, having someone cut us off in traffic, like maybe this is something that happens to us um, like once a week or like even once a month or something. And at first we might feel that frustration of um, just having this happen and feeling like it's something that's happening to us rather than something that we are creating. Um, but taking that step back and just sort of recognizing that okay, maybe I had a belief that there are just a lot of like bad drivers out there or that like people are just like aggressive drivers because maybe like my mom or dad or something was a very aggressive driver. And so I just created this belief of having like aggressive, a dri like, aggressive drivers in my awareness. Um, and just recognizing that we do tend to create things that seem in some way comfortable to us. So say if I were to use that example that maybe I would create that for myself now because it's something I was used to um, as a child or used to um, just having that stress of like being in a car with someone who's like an aggressive driver or something. So just expecting to have that tension or frustration around other drivers, even though it's on a subconscious level, even though consciously I want to feel at peace when I'm driving, I want to trust that other drivers are like taking precautions and being safe when they're on the road. Um, even though consciously I know that's what I want, there's still that underlying programming that is trying to bring me to that place of comfort and familiarity that I'm used to. Um, yeah, and it's just, it can be challenging to slow down sometimes and recognize how we are creating this, these situations and how we are manifesting this, um, like, tension in our lives. But when we slow down and take ownership and responsibility for the fact that, like, okay, I am creating 
aggressive drivers like being around me like I am the one that is manifesting the aggressive drivers being in my reality um and just owning that and acknowledging that and then coming back to okay well if this is something that is showing up in my reality if this is something that I am creating why am I doing that like what is the lesson that is showing up for me and how can I acknowledge that and heal that Um, sometimes it helps to have someone else to reflect these stories back to because we can't always see um, from our own ego state why something might be showing up or what those parallels might be. Um, I know for myself it's often easier just to reflect these things back to someone else, just like sort of ramble off stream of consciousness, like this is the story that I'm experiencing, I can't figure out why I'm experiencing it, like My ego just won't let me see how I'm actually creating this, why it's showing up for me. But when I begin to feel grateful for the fact that it is showing up for me and just slow down, then I can really draw those parallels and find that forgiveness for the situation, the gratitude for the situation and move past it. And then once I heal it, once I find that belief, that trigger, that thing that has caused me to create this situation again and again and again, once I heal that, then it won't show up for me anymore. I will no longer manifest these aggressive drivers into my reality because I've healed that belief. It's no longer something that is an underlying program in my mind. And we can do this with like literally anything, whether it is like a pain that you are experiencing, like a physical pain or just like a trigger, like maybe you, um, I don't know, have a string of like, um, just like having, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like, like fair weather friends or something, or just like constantly creating the same relationship for yourself or constantly getting triggered by, um, like people gossiping at work or just like any situation that you manifest on a frequent basis or notice yourself, like it keeps showing up for you then there's a lesson there. There's something to take ownership for, responsibility for. And again, it's not about placing blame. It's not about saying like, oh, I'm creating this, like I'm a bad person or um, like it's really not about that blame factor. It's just owning that it is something that I am creating. And therefore, I also have the power and the ability to create something differently now that I've recognized and acknowledged the fact that I am creating this um which is why I just find it so beautiful to have that um, ability to create the responsibility because it brings back that power to me it brings back my own sense of okay I am in control of this situation even though I couldn't see the reflection I couldn't see the connection before I can now so Let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of magic we can create. What is the reality I actually want now that I'm recognizing how I'm creating the reality I don't want? That is the beauty of manifestation is that we are constantly creating. We are uh, these powerful beings that just create our reality. Um, Yeah, so we get to choose. We get to play God and figure out what we want and how to manifest that into our lives so I hope this was in some way um, insightful for you that it might make you feel a little bit um, a little bit more ease and gentleness around taking responsibility for situations that have showed up for you in the past and hopefully just helped you have um, maybe a bit more lightness around those situations as well maybe you can find the humor in it Um, find the lesson in it and just move forward from a place of grace and like love and compassion. Um, Because again, it's not that you are consciously creating that. It's that it's just a subconscious program that, you know, it's just been playing out in your life and you're always worthy and deserving of what you actually want. Um, And just as soon as you acknowledge that and are willing to step into that power and willing to be humble in the process. 
So thank you again, beautiful humans, for giving me this time and energy. And I do hope that something beautiful comes from this lesson and from the lessons that keep showing up for you in your life. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.